The judge also observed that the amended laws are already in operation as the presidential candidates have already paid the new nomination fees of shillings 20 million up from shillings 8 million, so there is no way the process can be stopped. He added that the two aggrieved individuals and Conservative Party, CP, can now pursue the main petition and then be granted relief if court finds it right. Shortly after the ruling, human rights lawyer Ladislaus Rakafuzi said he was going to appeal the ruling before three judges on grounds that he is dissatisfied. Likewise, CP President Ken Luchamuzi was dissatisfied with the ruling of the court, saying it's unfair because the suffocation of people's freedom is as important as the failure by the people to elect leaders of their own choice. And he wanted the court not to stop the nominations. He wanted the court to stop, to stay the payment of the three million Uganda shillings until our main application is heard and until our constitutional petition is heard. Maybe I need to continue. The struggle continues. Because this is our country. It's unfortunate that the parliament, which was supposed to have registered in aiming at promoting harmony and justice for the citizens, has tried to connive, has, has connived with a, a small section and within the state. The constitutional court is serious and it understands what it has to do. It must hear this petition before the end of December. Parliament amended the rules of elections by amending Section 1 of the Parliamentary Elections Act of 2015 that now requires every intending aspirant in parliamentary elections to deposit a sum of 150 currency points, which is equivalent to shillings 3 million. But the amendment of this section of the election laws did not go down well, with some of the intending aspirants on grounds that the incumbents who are still in parliament are rich and are able to pay the said nomination fees as opposed to the new entrants who are disadvantaged and poor and can't afford the fees. In his affidavit to support the legal action against the EC and the AG, Sembadwe, in his application for interim injunction, had lamented that unless court restrains the EC, and its agents from implementing the amended election laws, he was also likely to suffer irreparable damage if prevented from contesting.